us this morning about this transition of power in Albany and the aftermath of the Cuomo resignation. State Assemblymember Ronis Bishat Hermelin. Thank you for being with us this morning, Assemblymember. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me this morning. So when the governor announced his resignation, you said that this is the beginning of the end of a nightmare for New York State. What did you mean by that? Well, you know, it was the right decision for the governor to announce his resignation, especially after the substantial evidence presented in the AG's report on the sexual harassment against these 11 women. And it's been very distracting to legislators having to put aside legislative affairs uh, for the purpose of dealing with a, an investigative and prosecutorial process for the misconduct and the abuse in the workplace, a, a toxic environment that the uh, government, uh, that the governor has created. So yes, it has been a nightmare. And um, now that he has um, announced his resignation, we can now um, step aside from this whole process and move forward in, in, in governing the state of New York. And that was one of the reasons that the governor had mentioned he, he is resigning so that government can get back to governing. Will this impeachment process and can it unfold despite his resignation? Well, although the uh, Cuomo, Cuomo announced his resignation, the Judiciary Committee must proceed until he actually resigns in the next 13 days. And then it will be decided whether they will continue to impeach a governor who is no longer in office. Um, of course, there are some, some concerns that his resignation um, does not ban him from ever running for office again, um, um, unless he is criminally convicted. Uh, but if we do proceed with the impeachment process, uh, the articles of impeachment will be presented. We in the assembly will vote. Uh, the senators and the judges from the state highest courts of appeal would hear the case, and then there will be a vote to remove him for office. Um, you know, the uh, attorney general's report positioned us as prosecu prosecutors to have evidence to present um, and to see if this is a legally uh, impeachable offense. So if the legislator does need to move forward, we are ready. All right, Assemblymember, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. And stay tuned because we speak with State Senator Jamal Bailey about this transition of power in just over six minutes that is coming right up. And remember, Kathy Hochul will deliver her first address from the Capitol up in Albany at 2 p.m. this afternoon. News 12 will be carrying that live.